Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead, and in today's video we're going to be doing our weekly top 5 best character moments video. This one is for Alicia from Fear the Walking Dead. Your parents, they could still be out there. Our parents abandoned us! Nowhere to go, Morgan! Why are you really here? Alright guys, this one's going to be doing another video today, this one's going to be doing another video for Fear of the Walking Dead, and in today's video we're going to be doing a video for Alicia Clark from Fear of the Walking Dead, we're going to be going over her top 5 best moments of the series and uh, giving our thoughts. So, this was the winner of the poll this week, Alicia did win the, uh, the vote for this week, and it uh, makes sense because we did do a video on... Um, you know, a few other fear characters, so I, I kind of assumed that she would win at some points, and uh, we did one on, like, Troy recently, and uh, a few others. We did do a Madison one beforehand, um, which, uh, Madison, uh, you guys can go ahead and check out that ranking. Let's just say some people were pissed off by my ranking for the Madison character. Um, for Alicia, here's the thing about her. She has a lot of great moments. She does. She does have a lot of great moments. I do acknowledge that, you know, in the later seasons, I feel like her character kind of, you know, went to crap. Uh, season 7, in particular, she was not good in that season whatsoever uh, and hell that's here's the thing even if you disagree with that opinion you kind of have to also agree at the same time because the actress for Alicia has already stated that she's grateful that she's not on Fear of the Walking Dead anymore so you know in recent interviews for St. X so you know it, it kind of like objectively is bad if you ask me if she's even saying this herself um but yeah, point being, Alicia in the early seasons of Fear and a lot of the earlier stuff of the of the series, you know, she had a lot of really good moments. So let's uh, kind of go through those and kind of discuss them. So number five is going to be Alicia versus the cult members. So this was a really, really cool moment. Basically, you've got Alicia that's captured by Riley and some of the other end is the beginning cult members. And she literally drives like whatever that tool was into the guy's eye. She friggin' flips him upside down, kills him, kills another guy at the same time too gets out of captivity and of course then teddy you know walks in and uh, does his whole kind of speech but she was an absolute badass in that scene i mean she literally sacrificed herself so althea and wes and the others could get away that right there is incredible i love that scene i think alicia came in clutch in that scene and i thought it was fantastic um number four is then going to be alicia kills mel so uh <laughs> this was pretty crazy uh she had like that big like uh you know weapon or whatever like blow crap up or whatever and uh she damn near almost killed june because you know she didn't trust her right um which, without knowing the full story, makes sense, for sure. I, you know, I feel like she could have chilled out a little bit, but still, without knowing the full story, it, you know, it, it, fair enough, right? Um, but anyway, this kill on Mel was so cool. I mean, he walks out there, he's, like, burnt to crap. He's, like, crawling on the friggin' ground. And she's asking, like, how do you know about June? And the guy's like, you know, please, please help me. And she's like... Yeah, you know what? Doesn't matter. She just friggin' kills him. And I love it because it's a throw-off. You know, you don't think that Mel, the main villain, would die in the penultimate episode of that first half. And they throw you off completely. And it's really, really cool. And in addition, it's a badass moment for Alicia. So I definitely have to put it on there. Um, Alicia was on something else in 4A. I'll say that. Um, 4A for, uh, for Alicia is one of the most insane halves for her. Um, she definitely, she had more of a villain, you know, aura kind of going on with her that half. It was, it was different for sure. Um, I didn't like when she shot John, I'll be honest about that, but I did like the kill on Mel, so I'm going to put that one at number four. Um, coming to number three is then going to be, uh, Alicia versus the Plane Walkers. So, Alicia in 5A, man, I mean, they had something going with her in that half. They really did. Um, it's a, it's honestly a shame that they had her painting trees the next half because I loved what they were doing with her in that first half um and this scene in particular I mean literally her hands were bleeding she was you know injured pretty good and she still used that major like weapon or whatever to friggin kill the walkers she sectioned off all these you know kind of uh, points so Morgan and the others can you know take the time to help Luciana and escape right and Alicia was fending off the walkers while they were doing that very, very cool. And yeah, Alicia was, like I said, that's, this is another one of those times where she was just on something else, you know, 5A, holy frig. Um, 
absolutely insane she also has probably one of the best appearances for the alicia character as well too like the leather jacket uh the long hair or whatever the main weapon um i would definitely say that's probably her best appearance in fear of the walking dead for sure um number two is then going to be um which this one this one's pretty freaking amazing number two is then going to be alicia defends the ranch against the the hordes so uh this is in 312 brothers keepers where of course they line up all the rvs and they they try to you know stay quiet it doesn't work the walkers knock the RV down and you've got Alicia that completely defends the ranch I mean literally she gets everybody into the bunker she gets everybody to safety and in addition to that she also kills that one like bigger guy with the beard she mercy kills him uh helps you know uh kind of end his suffering and she saves Ophelia in the process she kills walker after walker and gets everybody down to the bunker I mean that to me was a fantastic moment all while wondering where the hell Nick and Jake are as well and she can't even go out there so she just has to assume that everything's all right with them which is pretty insane and knowing that Jake dies in that scene too is is crazy right um so that was a great moment for her. But the all-time best moment for Alicia, the moment that she just... I honestly couldn't even believe what they did with her. And I did re-watch some of this stuff recently to actually see, you know, what this would be like after a few years. Um, and it's my all-time favorite moment for Alicia in the series. And that's going to be Alicia versus everyone in the bunker, okay? Now, this was insane. They're in the bunker. They're running out of air, right? So Ophelia and Crazy Dog go to, you know, stop it, right? Meanwhile, she has to kill dozens of people. Literally, there's a montage of her having to kill dozens of people that were bit. And she has to continue to put one down. Next, put one down. Put a knife in their head. You know, next, put one down. Like, it's insane what she has to do. And I love it, too, because... The actress for Alicia really makes that real, you know, there's a lot of scenes where she's kind of breaking down, she's, you know, having like panic attacks and stuff like that, and you really feel the weight of what she has to do, you know what I mean? And meanwhile, they're running out of air, Alicia damn near dies as well too, and even the people that aren't bit, they die down there because they run out of air. So everybody practically dies down there along with, you know, except for Alicia, and Alicia literally has to fight a horde of her own people at the ranch just for herself to stay alive meanwhile she's running out of air you know what i mean like the weight of that it's insane it's absolutely insane and i've never seen a character go through something like that that the weight of of what she had to do in those 40 minutes of that episode were insane i don't like when she leaves madison later on i think that's ridiculous but everything before that it's her best moment for sure she held her own the amount of kills that she had to do the you know close calls that she had I mean, and she tried, you know what I mean? She tried to save all those people, and unfortunately she couldn't. But you see how desperate she was to do so. And it was really, really amazing. So, um, and again, the actress killed it, you know what I mean? I mean, one thing with Alicia and that actress, uh, anything emotional-wise, she usually just absolutely knocks it out of the park. So, um, yeah, those are the best moments of Alicia throughout the entire Walking Dead, or Fear of the Walking Dead series. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the Alicia character in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Be sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.